Okay, by now the kids are back in school, you're down to a groove in the mornings, but how is it going with packing those school lunches? That can be a challenge for so many parents, especially to make them healthy. So help for you this morning. It's always a pleasure to have Robin Darling here, dietitian at CHI Memorial. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. This has always been almost the bane of my school existence, is how in the world do you pack a healthy lunch that your kids will actually eat? Well, it is a challenge. This morning I had to pack two lunches along with what I was bringing today. And it took me a little bit longer to bring the different ideas. But the main goal of it is first off, let's make it safe. Okay. okay, safety comes in making sure you have ice packs, you can use frozen fruit as the ice pack in it, so then you've also got your fruit, or as we've talked about making smoothies here, freeze those early in the morning, then by lunchtime they're kind of slushy. So can I hold as you yes, take Yes, you can. So you it's, took that out of your freezer this morning? This morning, and so then it's, it'll just be slushy by the time they get to lunch, and it'll be kind of a good treat with lots of fruits, vegetables, and fiber. It is still completely cold. It is. Okay. Um, also, a good thermos, something that will keep it both hot and cold. A lot will do cold, but they don't guarantee too much for the hot. Okay. And if you're wanting to pack leftovers or something hot, the key to it is to pour um, boiling water into it for about five to ten minutes in the morning to get the thermos hot then pour the water out so that way the thermos is already hot and you're not going to lose the temp just by pouring it into the cold metal. Okay I have to ask you something not to make you endorse a product here mm -hmm. but are all thermoses the same? I don't think so. This one actually is guaranteed I think seven hours cold, five hours for hot mm -hmm. so that's plenty enough to get through the time. Some of the cheaper thermoses those that are also made out of the plastic are, which I do have mm -hmm. are not going to remain as hot as those others. So this, this is, is a stainless steel. steel. Gotcha. Okay. It's easier to clean, it won't stain either. So. Okay, Mary Poppins. What yeah, so also we have glass containers for when you're wanting to do things like skewer fruit and meat. Instead of just always offering a sandwich, do roll-ups with either ham or cheese, and also skewer, skewer your fruit on there, and you can use the smaller ones. And that way you've got your carbohydrates and your protein all in one thing without having a sandwich. Good idea. Sometimes kids get tired of sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even the kids that like sandwiches get bored. So you can just opt out and use another bread. You can do bagel thins. Mm -hmm. You can do pita pockets. That way they can put the vegetables and the tuna salad and all in there. And so it remains in without the vegetables and all falling out between the bread. You had taken out earlier a little, I like guess a mandarin orange fruit yes. cup. So you were saying too that you can freeze these? Yes, at my children's school when they do field trips, instead of having an ice pack in every brown bag, what they do is they freeze all those, throw it in with a sandwich mm -hmm. and the chips so it remains cold and that will work as the ice pack. That's and a it great will idea. remain it's, it will remain cold but not slushy by the time they get to eat it. Very good. So good that idea. way you've got your fruit taken care of. Okay. And the key to it is kind of give the children an option, but still try to get some fruits and some vegetables in. This is an easy way to get vegetables in because they don't realize it's in there. The mm -hmm. purple color there comes from beets. You can also chop different colors of peppers in, and it doesn't have to be the whole pepper. Just a bite or two on a routine basis just gets a little extra color into their diet a little bit more fiber, a little bit more interest. Which could be another reason to include packing leftovers from the night before. Exactly, and you can do that. And you can also even do something like a chicken and gravy. Mm -hmm. And in this type of container, put chopped up toast pieces. So then when they get to school, they just pour the chicken and gravy over the chopped up toast so it's more like a hot sandwich. Perfect. So you Good can do idea. something like that. Okay. We also have um, different colored vegetables, of course, the snow peas. And you may think, my children will never eat snow peas. Well, the other day I just took it upon myself to start eating them with a little ranch dressing. And my daughter, I said, come here and taste it. And then my daughter had eaten a whole handful before she realized really? it. So just don't always assume if you don't like it that they're not going to like it. Okay. Or also just offer something a little bit different. Okay. Um, a little ranch dressing to get them to eat the vegetables is a good thing. If you're using a little Rubbermaid container, also zip putting it in a Ziploc container just in case. In case it tips over Exactly, and because you don't want your container to smell like ranch dressing. Mm -hmm. And the other thing we have is if you don't have time, buy the fruit pre-cut. So you can just do those on the skewers. You can do all your fruit on one like strawberries and um, pineapple and the different fruits on one. And then on the other one you could do your meats and cheeses. Good so idea. if you wanted one to be colder than the other, then mm -hmm. you can just switch those out. All you have to do is think about how you would get sick of eating the same thing every single exactly. day. Your kids exactly. are going to also. And my children come up with the same thing. Yesterday was the first day of school and my daughter said, could you pack something like you used to last year? I packed you lots of things. Um, another option is a pasta salad. You do the pasta salad with all the 
um, vegetables cut up into it with mm -hmm. a little dressing, or you can do a hot pasta. Sometimes we'll just do a little bit of a pasta with Parmesan cheese and a little bit more pasta and just put that into the thermos. That way the cheese gets down to two levels. We eat it that way. Or mac and cheese, or there was even a girl at my daughter's school that would eat black eyed peas at lunch. I guess just think about too as you're doing your grocery shopping for the week, buy for varieties of breakfasts, lunches, and dinners because if you're going to have pancakes before they head out the door for breakfast, you don't want them having a sandwich for lunch. No, and the other thing is also think sometimes you can do lunch foods. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could simply pack boiled eggs to get some protein do a yogurt and do cereal. They could put the cereal over the yogurt instead of eating it with the milk as they do at school or they could have cereal and milk it's along with protein. It's why she's the dietitian. That's at right. CHI <laughs> Memorial. Robin, thank you so okay, much. Okay, thank you. I hope your kids have a good school year. So do I. You can always get more information with the number you see there on your screen, 495-7970. It's memorial.org, diabetes hyphen and hyphen nutrition. Always there to help you at the Diabetes and Nutrition Center. We're back after this.